Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through how to test for the ulnar nerve. And this is pretty simple. So if you come with us over here, as we went through, the ulnar nerve comes down, gives off the dorsal branch, and then it has its motor supply here. It also gives motor supply to the FDP and FCU. But simply, if you want to uh, test for the ulnar nerve, you check for the interossi muscles. So if you can kindly show me your hand, if you can split your fingers apart, and this is abduction, this is done by the dorsal interossi that is supplied by the ulnar nerve. So if you could just keep them out over there and don't let me push them in, that's good. So you can do that with your hand and just test it on each side. And can you, can we just test something else over here? So we've got a sheet of paper, and what we're going to do is that we're going to examine the palmar interossi, which cause a deduction. So if you could put this in and close your fingers in on this, and that's checking the palmar interossi, and then you want to check the strength of that. And that's checking the motor supply of the ulnar nerve. The sensory supply of the ulnar nerve is simply comparing both sides, Feeling over the ulnar nerve territory. Can you feel my fingers on both sides? Yes. And does it feel the same? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And that checks your ulnar nerve. As a bonus, you can also check your adductor hallucis. <coughs> and your adductor hallucis is in the first web space, and it's the fleshy muscle right over there. And what you can ask the patient to do is just to close their finger in, and you can feel it right there. We're going to demonstrate Froman's sign. And uh, I'm going to get a piece of paper. So if you can show me both of your hands there and lift your thumbs up. I'd like you to hold this paper in between your thumb and your hand and don't let me push it away. And if you note, I'm checking same muscle to same muscle. Thank you very much. So that tells us that the ulnar nerve is intact. Now if the ulnar nerve wasn't intact, then what the patient would do is flex at the interphalangeal joint instead of adduct their hallux as I have done and that's because the ulnar nerve is not functioning and therefore they're using their anterior interosseous nerve to compensate and hold the paper in instead. So in summary to check for the ulnar nerve you want to adduct, abduct the fingers, adduct the fingers and do Froman sign and for the sensation, you're looking at the owner half of both hands and comparing and contrasting. Thank you very much for listening.